Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from Viva La Vegan and today let's go through my makeup bag. So I'm just house sitting at the moment. So this isn't normally all the makeup I have, but this is just some of what I have. So I always start with um, Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Primer. Um, and um, this is a really great brand. And I'm really pleased that David's done really well with this brand. And then I normally use um, like a, what would you say corrector and it's the yellow one so i get this from i think it's a vegan beauty place in australia and um i use that just for say a bit under the eyes if i have some black eyes or you know um like a, a pimple or something that i need to cover so i would use that after i've waited a bit for the primer and then i normally use i used to use pure geisha um, makeup and I've got a bit of that in the cupboard too um, for when I run out and I now get this from cruelty free shop it's called cruelty free face and that's a beige one I believe after that I normally put on um, my blusher and I have at the moment I just have this Zuzu Luxe one that I'm trying to use up but I normally would wear um, the beauty without cruelty one and this is just a purpley one I'm just using. I normally wear pink or red. And then I put on Beauty Without Cruelty Loose Powder. And um, I use, so the blusher, I would use this Eco Tools for the blush. And for putting on the loose powder, I would just use this old brush I've had for years. I can't remember, Ultra Glow or something maybe is the name of, is the name of that. And I've been using that for years and I love it. Then I would normally, I've got these new spongy things I sort of use on and off, trying to work out how to use them at the moment. Let's sit down. Um, and then I have lots of different, um, so I normally use this, um, what's this, Tallahassee Tan from No Miss. And No Miss makeup's my favourite loose leaf. Um, eyeshadows so I normally would use that first on my eyes and then I would just use different colors so just depending on what I've got I've only got a few colors here because I'm house sitting as I said um, if I was doing say a red or a pink I've got some sunrise sunset Indian Ruby and then crystal river cranberry that they're all also no miss ones they used to all come in these little tiny sizes, but now you get them in these big ones. If I'm doing blue, I normally would use Key West Silver. That's actually one of my favorites too. So that big one, um, Tala, Tallahassee Tan, always use that one. And I used to always use this Key West Silver quite a lot, and I do if I'm still doing blue. I met a gal one time who was making this amazing eyeshadow. This is Layla eyeshadow, which you can't, buy anymore but I bought a green one a blue one and a purple I think one from that or maybe a different sort of blue and I love those they're amazing then also got given this by mud and it's just sort of three different colors that I use sort of normally around here and when I put um, eyeshadow on I always use my fingers um, and then I would use I used to use this pure geisha um, mineral density for my eyebrows so to paint on my eyebrows a bit and I'd use this sort of um, uh, chiseled I guess you'd say um, pen, um, brush to put that on and then just recently when my good friend Corinne and I were looking we we're in James Street in Burley and um, we we're looking for candles which she loves at the candle Byron Bay Candle Company and one of the girls that was working there she wanted just to do my eyebrows because I, I didn't have makeup on and I said yeah sure go for it and um, she used this Eye of Horus just this dynasty brow define and this is amazing and that's what I've got on my eyebrows now and people say 
Um, I've had quite a few people ask me if I've got my eyebrows tattooed on. So that's the effect that you get, which may or may not be what you want. And at the back there's a, um, a little brush also. So before I had this, which I use now, I would use that other, um, that other eyebrow um, to find stuff from Pure Geisha. And I also have this Beauty Without Cruelty um, soft coal pencil. I'm almost out of it at the moment, but I've got a new one for backup when I finish. And um, I've been using that one for years. It's pretty amazing. And then I have, I've also got this new pen eyeliner from Natio. I haven't used it yet because it's a bit thicker than I normally like for, um, the eyebrow pencil sort of look but I'm going to give it a go one day. Normally when I do all of that I'll put like a bit of a defining with some white also no miss. I think it's Bokka Ice but I can't read that so something like that. Um, just sort of around like inside my eyes here maybe a bit here and um, on my cheeks maybe if I want. Um, I've had this silver glitter um, like a lipstick I think for years so I still use a bit of that if, every now and then if I'm going out and the best um, mascara in my opinion vegan mascara is Beauty Without Cruelty's Ultimate Mascara and that gives you a really good um, definition and I've got another one as backup for when that finishes and that's what I suggest and that's my um, makeup actually I've got a few lipsticks that are in my um, little handbag so I'll just go and get that uh, this is my little handbag I've got quite a collection of these but they're all falling apart now because I've had them for quite a while um, so always have here's what I always have in my bag is the Horror Vegan Lipsticks. Be these are the best lip balms if you ask me. Always have this Olbass Oil Inhaler. Also good for after massages which I love to get quite often. Um, and then I have um, had a couple of lipsticks for a while. I've got this um, Zuzu Luxe pink one. That's quite cool. And I've also got a red one, which this one is, I think this one's Beauty Without Cruelty. If it's not Beauty Without Cruelty, it's Zuzu Lux. So that's a red one. And then I have, this is a new one I bought when um, I was, when I bought the um, eyebrow, eye Horace brow define the last that was giving us a demo also gave me a demo on this model rock lip what color is it what's it called um liquid last matte lipstick that's what it's called and this color is major betsy so that's pretty cool so you put it on um you put it on Wet. So I'm just doing that really quickly. So I've put on wet and watch how it'll look in a bit. So they're the lipsticks I have in my bag and you've also seen what's in my makeup container. And all vegan, I hope that's helped you get some good ideas. I have done some vegan makeup tutorials in the past so check those out if you like. It was when I had my hair just growing back from after I shaved it so it's quite a few years in between now but if you want to see more of those let me know and thanks for watching please subscribe let me know if you'd like a particular video done and see vivalavegan.net for more info thank you check out the lips